especially being the third best three-point shooter on this team, she's going to have to start making some shots, and that's a big one here early in Lincoln. Jess Shelley with an open three from the corner and got it. Lau goes up right behind Markowski and snatches that rebound. Lau running with Hybe defending. Looking for Walsh. Walsh trips over the feet of Izzy Bourne. And Izzy Bourne looks at Sam Hybe. I did not mean to trip her. Here's Hybe running the floor. Off the Markowski made a little too much contact down low. Forces the officials to make that call. Moriarty with the steal off the pass from Shaw. Moriarty running. Nearly has it taken away from behind. That's a nice shot by Mott. That's a nice little hold. What's well, about having confidence? There's nothing like the art of the mid-range game. Bourne. Backing down Walsh at the paint, born off the glass and muscles through. When you're driving in, trying to drive and absorb more contact going up for it, maybe you got to make it a little bit more obvious that you're trying to draw the foul, but not in that situation. Shelly circling, finds Bourne for three. Got it. Get open on the outside. Nice pass, though, by Jazz Shelly. Stuck on the baseline, found the open three. And Huskers lead by eight. Nebraska on a 5-0 run. Walsh double teamed, has that one blocked away by Mendelssohn. Moriarty gets over the half-court line, passes over to Hybe, finds Mendelssohn in the paint, defended by Walsh. Mendelssohn literally being grabbed, but finds that one through. Ho, ho, Mendelssohn. That's a tough bucket there by Maggie Mendelssohn. That's a 7-0 run over the last minute and a half for Nebraska. They've made three of their last 21-19 the score. Just under four and a half to play here in the second quarter. Shelly off the Mendelssohn screen. Shelly's got to get it done herself. Off the glass and in. The bank's open. Well, ends up in the hands of Shelly. Shelly running, defended by Wood. Looks, great vision up the court, off the glass and in. She finds Izzy Bourne. Hake defending Lau, switch down to Weaver. Weaver driving hard right. Wanted to kick it out to Hartman. It's taken away by Shelly. Has Hake running, goes to the left. Here's Hake. Paige Mott has been on fire. Gets points number nine and ten on the afternoon. Here's Hybe. Briskly working her way up the court and lays that one in. On it with Markowski defending. Walsh backing down Bourne. Markowski steps in like a defensive back in football and intercepts that pass. It's up to Shelly. Shelly taking her time. Wants Markowski. Markowski to Bourne for three. Got it! And here's Shelly with a bit of a no-look pass back to Markowski. That's our 10th rebound, by the way, of the game, Jazz Shelly. Shelly out to Kroll for three. Got it! Yowza! Kroll has Markowski if she wants her. Kroll just takes it herself and misses that. Had Markowski, tips it up. Cowabunga. One for Nebraska. Kroll took it herself, missed it initially, and Markowski goes up over. Kroll breaks it, has three defenders surrounding her, looks for Moriarty. Moriarty forced to the ground, finds Kroll. A bit of a sloppy start for Nebraska. Shelly open for three. Splash. Weaver chasing. Weaver is not afraid to try and take that ball away. She's right on high beat. It forces it back up to Makowski for three. Woo! Mama mia, Alexis Markowski. High beat over to Shelly, over to Moriarty. Rolling is Markowski. Backing down Mott. Gets that one to go. High beat driving left. Corner over to Crawl. Pump fake. Driving left into the paint. Backing down her defender, that's Brown, up off the glass, and kisses that one home off the glass. And to this presentation a Big Ten women's basketball on Big Ten Plus, can you get it to single digits so that she can have an impact? Hybe dribbling, nearly carried there, but gets that one off the glass and lays it in. With a lead here on Senior Day, hoping to cap off their season with win number 16. Shelly just completely running by everyone, finds Crow wide open. Andy that, Williams calling for some patience. And that just runs the clock again, keeps the ball out of Northwestern's hands when you're already down 14. The clock will be under 90 seconds after this play. Hybe with the quick crossover. 